Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 19 editing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the new features inside of DaVinci Resolve 19, and that is ultra noise reduction. So in the past, I've created a video on how to do noise reduction, but in the new DaVinci Resolve 19, they've actually updated with a new feature that is designed to make the noise reduction better and quicker and easier. So um, let's just open up DaVinci Resolve and let's just have a look. So, so I've just opened up some footage on my timeline and I've just got this really long take of a, a dance performance, end of year dance performance. It's just a long take. This was on my Blackmagic Pocket 4K. As you can tell, usually with the Pocket 4K, there's quite a lot of noise. Now I haven't done any color grading or correction to this, just so you can see the noise just a little bit better on your end, just so you can see how it works. Let's just go to like this performance here. So we'll just use this as a freeze frame. So if you zoom in, you can see there's quite a lot of noise on the blacks. If you are new to DaVinci Resolve and you've just come across this video, essentially to access the noise reduction is you gotta go over to motion effects. So you just go to this tab here. You gotta make sure you're in the color tab. Uh, so you just open up um, motion effects. You can see temporal noise reduction, spatial noise reduction, temporal threshold and spatial threshold. So normally when I do noise reduction, I'll just go down to like number three, just keep it somewhere in the middle. And then what I do is I just zoom in and then I just eyeball the luma threshold and then the spatial threshold. But as you can see, when I bring this up, you're losing detail in your footage. So it tends to blur out your image. So let's just go over to spatial noise reduction and access ultra noise reduction. So all you have to do is go to spatial noise reduction, go down to mode, click on faster and go down to ultra noise reduction. And then now you have a new thing pop up down here and it just says noise profile and it's super easy to do. It is honestly insanely easy to do. So I'll just zoom out on the image just so you can see what happens. So I'm gonna click analyze. So when I click analyze, you can see that it's adjusted the number here, but um, it also creates a box on the screen here. So um, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see. So this box here, so whatever's in this box, it will be analyzing that as your noise profile and it figures it out uh, on how much noise reduction to put. So what I'm gonna get you to do is when I adjust these box, so you can adjust these box, watch the numbers down here. So let me just expand this box. So as I'm making it bigger, you can see that it jumps up. So the larger the area you have, uh, the more it detects the noise, digital noise profile, and then the noise profile counters that. So it cleans up your image and it also helps keep the clarity. So as you can see, when I zoom in here, it's cleaned up a lot of the noise. Like it looks very clean. So now I can add my color correction to it and you're gonna have a very clean image here. So let, let's just see. So let, let, let me just toggle off the noise reduction and then toggle it back on so you can see the difference. So as you can see here, it's done a very good job at reducing the noise and it's also kept the sharpness of the image so it doesn't degrade your image. So that's the reason why I'm actually excited about this new ultra noise reduction is because now I don't have to stress out about finding a balance um, between getting rid of the noise and the sharpness of the image. It will keep the sharpness of the image and reduce the noise. So it does a very, very, very good job at doing that. So let me just show you again. Let's just put it back on. As you can see, when I toggle this one off, on and off, if you look at this person here, let me just zoom in. It's already blurred because I'm 700% zoomed in. Turn it on and off. So as you can see, as I am using the older method of noise reduction, you lose the sharpness in the image. You can see that it softens the image heaps. So now let's just turn on the ultra noise reduction just so you can see the difference. Let's turn it on. And as you can see, it keeps the sharpness you lose maybe like a little bit of details, but overall it does a fantastic job at cleaning up your image. So, so that's it for this video. So as you can see, the new ultra noise reduction tool 
inside of DaVinci Resolve 19 does a fantastic job at cleaning up your image and keeps the sharpness, which is probably the most important part. With the older way of doing the noise reduction, you tend to sacrifice the sharpness of your image as you push the um, noise reduction to something a bit heavier if you have heavy noise reduction. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys on the next one.